Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create product size chart in a WooCommerce website. Here, I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. So let's go to the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here, search for product size chart. You will see some free plugins are already there. I'm going to install this plugin, Product Side Charts plugin for WooCommerce, and it is developed by the Dot Store. You can see that it has been installed on more than 20,000 WooCommerce websites. So click on Install Now and click on Activate. It will show you a setup wizard. Click on Continue. Let's click on Continue. It's a quick tour. Click on Continue and click on Done. So the free plugin is installed and it is activated. We are on the dashboard. At the top, you will see some tabs are there. This is about this plugin, how to use it. You will see some information there. Then quick information about the plugin. At the top, you will see dashboard. And next to that, you will see settings. Let's go to settings here. These are the global settings. Some settings are not available for the free version. You will see only these settings are available in the free version. Tab label is side chart side chart link title will be side chart we will see how does this work actually so let's go to size charts here you will see this option click on it and you will see that some pre-designed size charts are already there so you don't even need to create a size chart manually you can use one of the pre-designed side charts let's try one of these side charts you will see women's clothes side chart men's shoes side chart then women's shoes side chart is there so let's try one of them let's try this one men's shirt side chart click on edit okay so this is the name we cannot change the name here this is the information how to measure the size this is the information i'll show you how it will look on the actual size chart these are the size chart settings size chart pop-up title so this is going to be a pop-up title then we have the option size chart position is additional tab or model pop-up. Currently it is set to additional tab. Leave it as it is. I'll show you both the options. This is the title. Then this is the link. You want it text or you want button. Okay, then we have pop-up icon. If we are using pop-up, then we can select the icon for the pop-up. Then style is there, standard chart or tab chart. I'll show you both the options. Now here you will see size settings are already there for example for x x x s this is going to be 30 32 inches or 76 to 81 centimeter then we have to fit next size xs xs it will be 14 inch or 36 centimeter this is how you can measure the chest size and similarly you can also measure the next size and these are the specification for different sizes for small, this is going to be the size in inches and in centimeter. This is the next size for the small. If you want to make changes and make your own chart, then you can simply click here and change the number. Let's say it is set to 36 to 38. I can make it 37 to 38. So you just need to click here and make the changes to the size. So we can use the pre-designed tables or the side charts. Okay, if you will see preview option here if you click on it it will show the preview this is how it will look this is the information on how to measure the size and and this is the size chart okay, if i select tabbed chart and click on preview you will see the tab chart so this is the chart and this is a tab on how to measure so this is how it will look if we select the tabbed chart and if we select a standard chart then you will see it is you will see the measurement at the top and the chart at the bottom let's select tab chart that one looks good and you can also change the chart table style default style minimalistic classic or modern let's select modern and click on preview this is the modern style let's select classic this is how the classic will look then minimalistic will be like this uh, this is the default one so i'm going to keep it on default Okay, now in the right hand panel, you will see the categories for which you assign this chart. So if you click on it, you will see the categories that you already have on your WooCommerce store. 
So you can select the category. Let's select men. You can also select multiple categories. I'm going to select shirts. So we have two categories here. And if you have tags, then you can also select the tags to assign this size chart. So for all the products in these categories will show the size chart. You can also assign side chart using the attributes. We have some attributes here. So you can also select the attributes. And if you want to assign this chart on specific product, you can search for the product. Let's try this one. Click on it. This is the product on which I want to show the chart. So I'm going to search for this one jacket. Let's search for the product. Okay, let's select this one so we have one product here so this chart will be added to this product once you assign the chart to different categories attributes and tags click on update now let's go back to the product refresh it and scroll down you will see size chart option is added to the product this is the product data tabs and the size chart is added under data tabs if I click on size chart, you will see tabbed view. This is the chart and this is how to measure. Okay, you will see we have it selected like this one, tab chart. If I select standard chart, update it. Let's go back, refresh it. And let's go to size chart. You will see now the tab chart is not available. Okay, so we are going to select. So I think this one looks good, tab chart. Let's update it. Now, instead of showing the side chart in data tabs, you can also add the side chart here in this section. So let's go back. And here you will see the option size chart position. Currently it is set as additional tab. That's why we have this additional tab here. Let's click on the drop down box and select model pop up and update it. Okay, now let's go back, refresh it. Now you will see that the size chart is not here, but you can see the size chart is added here. If I click on it, it will open the model. You will see the title here. Let's close it and you will see the title here. So you can make the changes to the title from here. Now here you will see size chart. This is the text that you see here. If you want to change this text, you can change it from here side chart link type is set to text we can change it to button and we are going to add icon to the button so select this icon here and save now let's go back refresh it and you will see a button is there and the icon for the button is there if i click on it it will open the size chart which is assigned to this product if you want you can also assign multiple side charts to one product Let's go back. Let me show you. This is the size chart for the men's shirt. So we can name it as men's shirt size chart. Update it. Let's refresh it. You will see this is the title for the button. Let's go back. Let's go to another size chart. Let's try one more size chart here. Let's try this one women's clothes size chart. Click on edit. Okay, I'm going to make the same changes here. It is set to model pop-up and I'm going to name it as women's size chart. Okay, the same button we have here, tab chart is there. And this is the chart. You can make changes to the chart. Currently it is set to these two categories. You can also change the categories. And here I'm going to search for the product. I'm going to use the same product so that I can show you how we can use multiple charts jacket skinny fit select that one update it let's go back refresh it and you will see we have two different side charts for this particular product all right now if you want to add the size chart to specific products only then you can do that also let me go to dashboard go to products and let's go to one of the products here edit all right now in the right hand side if you scroll down you will see an option to add the size chart for a particular product so you can click on it and select the size chart that you want to assign 
currently it has two different size charts i'm going to click on it and search for men's shirt size chart so i can add a size chart for this particular product only so instead of adding the size chart to the entire category you can add the chart to the specific products also by editing the product itself so it is very easy to create a size chart in a woocommerce website using the free plugin there are some pre-designed side charts that you can use so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.